Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Starship 7 launch succeeds in catch but loses ship. Piper scores major fleet deal. Three drone pilots arrested for interfering with LA firefighters. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Starship 7 launch succeeds in catch but loses ship. It's been a week of highs and lows for the space biz, but none quite as heartbreaking as the loss of the orbital ship of Starship 7. Just seconds after the equally heart-pounding second catch of the Starship booster some seven minutes into the mission. It appeared to be a textbook test at first, but about the time that the ship section of the vehicle was due for engine shutdowns and orbital insertion, the vehicle experienced what SpaceX reported as an anomaly, and all telemetry dropped out. On the ground near Turks and Caicos, numerous folks saw debris streaking through the sky as it re-entered the atmosphere, while one observer appears to have caught the actual breakup and exploding of the vehicle. SpaceX is examining data now in order to exact whatever upgrades the bird needs for future missions. There were some big changes in the Starship 7 program, including, quote, redesigns to the propulsion system, including a 25% increase in propellant volume, the vacuum jacketing of feed lines, a new fuel feed line system for the vehicle's Raptor vacuum engines, and an improved propulsion avionics module controlling vehicle valves and reading sensors to add additional vehicle performance and the ability to fly longer missions, end quote. After the break, Dyer delivered combined 82 aircraft in 2024. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury what matters most? Time. Experience the fury. Join the legacy. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Dyer delivered combined 82 aircraft in 2024. Dyer announced it delivered a combined total of 82 Kodiak and TBM aircraft in 2024, representing an increase of almost 11% over 2023. The company also expanded its ownership base for the single-engine turboprop airplanes among owners, operators, and public service agencies. Dyer also recorded a total of 100 new orders for TBMs and Kodiaks during 2024, reinforcing the company's solid order book that covers aircraft deliveries extending into 2026. Boeing's latest deliveries report shows expected decrease. Boeing published its commercial and defense aircraft deliveries for quarter four and all of 2024. The report revealed unsurprisingly low numbers. The manufacturer delivered a total of 348 commercial aircraft in 2024. The majority of these, 265 aircraft, were 737s, followed by 51 787s, 18 767s, and 14 777s. The majority of the year's defense, space, and security deliveries were AH-64 Apaches. 34 remanufactured and 16 new orders of the Italic helicopter were fulfilled in 2024. The total deliveries for the sector came in at 112 for the full year. Missing pilot found after fatal plane crash. Search teams found the wreckage of a small plane near Rock Springs on January 15th. 50-year-old Kelly Melvin reported missing a day prior was killed in the accident. The Sweetwater County Sheriff's Office received a missing person report at around 1.22 p.m. on January 14th for a 50-year-old Green River man. The file stated that he took off from Southwest Wyoming Regional Airport in his Piper Comanche, but never arrived at his destination in California. The conditions at the time of the report include low clouds and remote terrain. New Glenn makes orbit, but booster lost. 
It was the first in a mixed bag for the space community as Blue Origin's New Glenn vehicle finally lifted off and achieved orbit on its first actual launch. New Glenn's seven BE-4 engines ignited on January 16th at 2.03 Eastern from Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Unfortunately, the booster failed to return for a controlled landing on an ocean-based barge like those demonstrated previously by SpaceX. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Piper scores major fleet deal. Piper Aircraft announced a fleet deal with the Air India Flight Training Center, with the center placing a firm order for 31 Archer DX aircraft for 2025 delivery and 62 additional options for 2026 and 2027 delivery for a total of 93 aircraft. The decision by Air India to purchase the Archer DX aircraft aligns with the airline's strategic vision to support its new flight training school in Amravati, Maharashtra, India. With this purchase, the school is positioning itself to become the largest aviation training facility in South Asia. The deal also represents a significant step in expanding Piper's global reach, particularly into the Asian market. John Calcagno, president and CEO of Piper Aircraft, said, quote, We are excited to welcome Air India to the Piper Flight School Alliance. We take pride in supporting institutions like Air India by providing aircraft that are renowned for their reliability and ease of use, ensuring the success of the next generation of airline pilots, end quote. The Air India Aviation Academy comprises 600,000 square feet of integrated aviation learning, the largest of its kind in South Asia, in Gurugram, India. It intends to train 50,000 aviation professionals, including pilots, cabin crew, ground handling, engineering, and security staff over the next few years. After these messages, three drone pilots arrested for interfering with LA firefighters. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Three drone pilots arrested for interfering with LA firefighters. Three drone pilots have been arrested so far for conducting unauthorized flights near firefighting efforts in Southern California. The most significant incident left a Super Scooper air tanker grounded with a hole in its wing. So far, fires in the LA region have scorched over 40,000 acres of land. They have left 12,000 structures destroyed and 24 residents dead. Aircraft and organizations have come together nationwide to assist in the firefighting efforts, but are being slowed by the rising number of unauthorized drone flights. California authorities have confirmed at least 40 unauthorized drone incidents during the fire, forcing firefighting teams to put operations on hold and endanger more lives. The primary incident occurred on January 9th. A small privately owned drone crashed into Quebec One, a CL-415 Super Scooper specifically designed for firefighting. The aircraft can scoop up upwards of 1,500 gallons of water to dump on fires. The collision led to all aircraft responding to the Palisades fire being temporarily grounded. Just one day after this incident, more unauthorized drones flew over the Palisades fire. Firefighting aircraft were again forced to leave the area, further delaying containment efforts. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.